Christmas offers us a time to pause for reflection and for thanks. A time for gratitude, gratitude for health, family, school friends, work colleagues, their friendship and their kindness. A time for the joy of giving, giving time, giving thought, giving gifts, giving donations, or simply giving a helping hand. A time for hope, for new beginnings, plans for the coming year, resolutions, or for sowing seeds for the future. A time for remembrance, remembering those who are no longer with us, as well as people and events from the last year. A time for family, welcoming births, mourning deaths, celebrating success and the importance of love, belonging, continuity, history, values and hope. And finally, a time for togetherness, for cooperation, for celebrating our school community, our achievements throughout the work, through working together and embracing the challenges of the coming year. I am so looking forward to this service and I'm sure you are too, so please enjoy our service of nine lessons and carols and have a wonderful Christmas. Church and say it's lovely to see Coleraine Grammar School carrying on the tradition of Coleraine High School and having their choral service here in St. Patrick's.
is in the garden of Eden that the seed of woman shall bruise the serpent's head. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Then the Lord God called to Adam and said to him, Where are you? So he said, I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree which I commanded you that you should not eat? Then the man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I ate. And the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all cattle and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go, and you shall eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Thanks be to God.
Then the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time out of heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this thing and have not withheld your son, your only son. Blessing I will bless you, and multiplying I will multiply your descendants as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is on the seashore, and your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies. In your seed all the nations of the earth shall be best, because you have obeyed my voice. Thanks be to God. have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in the land of the shadow of death, upon them a light has shined. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice. From that time forward, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Thanks be to God.
Christ will bring is for sure. There shall come forth a rod from the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. His delight is in the fear of the Lord, but with righteousness he shall not judge the poor, and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the young goat, the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, the young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play by the cobra's hole, and the weaned child shall put his hand in the viper's den. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord. As the waters cover the sea, thanks be to God. salutes the blessed virgin mary now in the sixth month the angel gabriel was sent by god to a city of galilee named nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was joseph of the house of david the virgin's name was mary and having come in the angel said to her rejoice highly favored one the lord is with you blessed are you among women but when she saw him she was troubled at his saying and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. 
He will be great and will be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Then Mary said, Behold the maidservant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God.
because of the birth of Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered, and she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Thanks be to God. It's a cold winter's night with the stars shining bright. The countdown begins just like last year again. We are lost in a crowd where the lights glisten out. We all start to sing. It's Christmas. Stories told from long ago. Streets are filled with lots of snow. The Christmas tree Joseph and the babe lying in the manger. 
Thanks be to God. Behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he inquired of them 
where the Christ was to be born. So they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the young child, and when you have found him, bring back word to me, that I may come and worship him also. When they heard the king, they departed, and behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Thanks be to God. Hark how the bells, sweet silver bells. Hark how the bells, sweet silver bells, all seem to say, throw cares away. Christmas is here, bring in good cheer, to young and old, make them the ball. Ding dong ding dong, that is a song, with joyful ring, all caroling. One seems to hear words of good cheer from everywhere, filling the air. Oh, how they come, raising the sound, on in a tale, telling the tale. Every day, wild people sing songs of good cheer, Christmas is here. Merry, 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 merry Christmas, merry, merry, merry Christmas. On, on they send, on without end, their joyful tone to every home. Oh, how the bells, sweet silver bells, all seem to say, throw cares away. Christmas is here, bringing good cheer to every of the Incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. This man came for a witness, to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which gives light to every man coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave them the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God.
apology for thanking everybody and praising everybody again because I think you couldn't say thank you often enough or praise the pupils and staff highly enough. Um, a lot of people made this year's Cal service po uh, possible and I know the pupils and staff have been rehearsing and practicing for weeks if not months and I, I can't name everybody because so many are, are due thanks today but as, as Reverend Simpson said, particular thanks to our music staff, Mr and Mrs McCreary and Ms. Mrs Cameron and Rebecca Reid. And thanks also to the wonderful team behind the scenes. They're all named in the order of service that you have today. And thank you to all of them. It's a huge team effort to make all of this happen today. And thank you also to the parents, to the families and friends of the school who supported us this year and over, over the last number of years. Your appreciation, your smiles today, and your applause, and justly deserved applause, are testament to the hard work and dedication of everybody concerned. And thank you for that. But finally, and most importantly, a huge thank you to the brilliant group of pupils whose work we've enjoyed here today, and also the not so young members of the school in the CGS Singers. <laughs> uh, they all worked really hard and honed their talents for us to enjoy here this afternoon. From the youngest reader to the senior prefects, the choirs, the soloists, the musicians were amazed, truly amazed by your abilities and also your composure in a setting like this. I'm grateful to all of you for what you've enjoyed here today. So thank you again to everyone, and I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. Thank you.